Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Got a video for 2025. I uh, got some new products that I'm excited about and I'm curious about. Uh, I'm not sure how they're going to be. But uh, anyways, wanted to talk to you about a couple batteries that I got in stock now and some new motors that are now fully in stock. And just wanted to go over them and just bring them to your attention that these are options now. Okay, so first of all, batteries. Uh, I got UL listed batteries in stock now. I got a couple different versions. Got a couple of 48 and 52 volt versions. I think some are four, 15 amp hour and some are 20 amp hour. And this is big news for me because as you know, a lot of pre-made e-bikes, they were the only ones that had the UL listed certification. Um, and us DIY people and custom builders were just out on the lam and were giving them a bad name. But these are the new um, 52 volt 20 amp hour battery packs. These are UL listed. So these are the epitome of safety. So if any of you guys are just really paranoid about safety, check out the UL listed ones. I've got a couple versions available now. That being said, the previous versions that I have are still super safe. The failure rate on them is almost zero. Um, and I'm knock on wood, never had an incident with them you know, causing damage. So it really does depend on the quality. My batteries that I carry here have always been, I try to get the highest quality batteries. Definitely don't, don't buy cheap ones that are hastily made using subpar components. That's a recipe for disaster. Okay, one more battery that I have and then I'll move on to motors that I'm really excited about. Let me go down and get it. Uh, you guys may know that I had 72 volt, 12 amp hour jumbo shark packs. I like the 72 volt battery packs in this style, in the hard case, the jumbo pack with the, uh, that are mountable onto the cradles, the universal cradles that we carry. I like these kinds versus the rectangular, just kind of heat shrinked, heat, heat shrinked battery, because then you need a, you need to somehow find a way to strap it to your bike or put it in a bag or it just looks kind of hokey. I feel like these are, these are nice. They just, they look cleaner in my opinion. They're, I don't know, they're modular. They use the same mounting cradles as the 52, 48 volt batteries that I carry. So it's all just modular. I just, I like that. But these are the new ones. These are 72 volt, 15 amp hour. And these ones have 80 amp BMS continuous BMSs in them. So these are, these pair well with the X1 Pro Gen 4s that can pull up to 80 amps. So these are over 6,000 watts continuous, which is crazy. So this is a good battery if you're looking at just building a, a dirt bike alternative or something, obviously something that's not street legal, but if you're looking for something with max power, this battery can keep up with the X1 Gen 4 and look good doing so as well, in my opinion. And these all carry the uh, three pin mini XLR charge ports for, again, the utmost in safety. These ones are not UL listed, but these are still super high quality, made from the same manufacturers that I get the UL listed batteries from. These ones just have not gone through the testing, essentially. Okay, next we've got uh, we've got a new motor by Bafang. I've been getting a lot of emails and messages about these uh, motors. These are the new CAN bus BBS O2s and HDs. You can see they're essentially the same thing as the BBS-02, the same physical motor as the BBS-02, just a slightly different controller. It's a different interface, different displays are gonna be used. Um, same gear shift sensor can be used, same brake, same brake candles, same throttles. Those are the same connectors. It's just the display port and the speed sensor connection are slightly different. It is a change, so not everything's gonna be super compatible, but for the most part, all the internals are still compatible. So even if you had an old UART version, you're still gonna be able to get support for it. The interface for these is going to require one of these program cables, which these are over $100 for, where the old UART program cable was 15 bucks. That's gonna be a bummer. And you have to use the Bafang interface to do this. You have to, you know, every, before everything else was open source pretty much with the old UART motors, No, things are no longer open source. So we're gonna see how this plays out. It, we're gonna need like a good year, year or two to find out how the dust settles on that. I think it'll be okay. I think there's still a decent amount of programmability and adjustability with these CAN bus versions, but we're gonna have to wait and see. I've already got a, a decent variance of displays available, which I was surprised. I thought we were gonna be stuck with two or three for a long time, but I think I'm, I've already got like eight or nine uh, options for displays. That's really good. I'm really excited about that. And also the BBS-02, 
you know, used to only be available in the 68, 73 millimeter variant. They, Bafang has now released it natively up to 100 millimeters. Uh, I still don't see anything for 120, but we will, we'll see how that goes. At least 100 is good because it'll fit a lot of the, the wider bottom brackets for uh, a lot of mountain bikes use 92 millimeter or something like that. I think that's all that I wanted to cover right now. I know it's a new year and there's been a lot of information. Um, I just had my second kid. I didn't have it. My wife did, full disclosure. But I've just been getting no sleep three, four hours of uh, sleep at night max. So it, I've been very uh, slow with posting videos, so I apologize, but hopefully with 2025, I'll be posting more regularly once my sleep becomes more regular. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm still here. <laughs> still got, we got plenty of motors. I'm super excited about a lot of, for 2025, we're gonna see how this plays out. Um, I'm not nervous at all. I know people are gonna be like, yeah, we'll see how it plays out. But I, I think Bafang, they upped their quality. Going going CAN bus, the quality definitely seems higher. We'll just see how the programmability and open sourceness plays out. I think that quality may have gone down a little bit, but we'll see, maybe not. All right, guys, anyways, happy new year. Uh, thanks for all your support and see you guys later. Go to johnnynerdout.com for all your custom e-bike support and builds and components. And help if you want a consultation go to book there i'll help you build your own bike repair your own e-bike all that stuff 